Good morning everybody, welcome back to Sean's World. Now I've had a day off from the convent today working with Billy. Um, I've got various things I need to catch up on at home. Lots of projects to talk about as well, but the first thing I need to do is tidy up the outside area. Now this is a oak A-frame barn that I built in previous videos. We use it for many different things. Um, I use it to polish my copper art. I do um, a bit of woodworking now. We use it for barbecuing. So basically, because it's been winter, everything's just been sort of chucked in there. I've not had time to catch up, but now I have. So I took the time off. We're going to tidy this area up. I've cut the grass already, so yep. it's looking you nicer. You can smell the yeah, it, scent of freshly yeah, cut yeah, grass. Yeah, smelly vision, you go, oh, that smells fresh. We've got conifers and grass and all things like that smelling lovely. So yeah, we've made a good start today. The sun's out, it's a beautiful day. Just seen de deers run past. So yeah, made a bit too much noise and they're gone now, but right, I think the first job, Tom, get hydrated, get our tools together, and clear that out. What do you reckon? Go for it. Yeah? <laughs> That's both of us. Is it's it? just me, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to help me. Right, we'll get some gloves, we'll get set up, and uh, we'll make this look in tidy, eh? Yeah. Right, let's do it. So I think we'll start on this pile. Um, there's some nice big wide planks that I managed to salvage from the collapsed barn over there. See a previous video for that. So these are going to be kept. Um, there's lots of pieces that will be good for firewood. So I think I'll set up my chainsaw over here. We'll grade it as we go. We'll chop up the good bits for the firewood. Some will burn tonight maybe. So we have a fire tonight. Maybe a barbecue? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, well that's a good idea. A bit of recycling, isn't it? <laughs> So we'll work our way through this, we'll tidy this area up, and then we we'll work on the barn as well. And don't forget, I've also got something special I want to show the, uh, the viewers about this barn. <laughs> now at first glance, it looks pretty straightforward. Bit of a bit of a shed, isn't it? A bit of a no, shack. it's not a shed. <laughs> I've recycled everything that I had at hand, so all the corrugated iron from the side was originally on the barn over there, so just reused it all so yeah. so what's unique about it then you'll have to wait and see later on won't you viewers <laughs> but until then we've got to get this all cleared up but yeah it's a bit of an eyesore in it like this yeah. wood and that yeah we'll tidy up and uh, yeah maybe have a nice cup of tea once we've finished all right let's get cracking let's do it So we're all finished tidying up. What do you think? Great. Boys, you've been really busy. Yeah. It looks much better. Yeah, it's a lot better than what it was. We couldn't access in and out, so give that a good clear out. Um, we're going to have a bonfire tonight. We're going to burn off all the waste wood and that. Oh, good. So yeah, now I can get back in here. I'll use my polishing wheel, which I use for cleaning my copper, which is this one here. And uh, my woodworking, I'll do bits and pieces in here, woodworking. Oh, that reminds me, Tom. Everyone keeps asking, when am I going to make these? Now, in a previous video, I made one of these for Michael, uh, Michael Peverick, doing it ourselves. What yeah. is it? It's a chopping board. Bread board. Bread board, chopping board. Um, it normally has a little handle across there. This one's just a template at the moment. And we cut some router grooves in there so you can cut your, your bread. It must be make some of these Tom again mm. we get set up and uh, now we we can walk in here we can uh, 
we can start making them. I've made one for you, didn't I? Yeah, it's lovely. Is it good? It's ideal for cutting baguettes or, or long loaves, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. And also in the car, I've got another beautiful piece of wood that Billy gave me from the convent. He took some cupboards out and he said I could have the wood from it, so. Oh, that's oak, isn't it? Yeah, nice big bit of oak. This is chestnut, by the way. So yeah, we've got lots of projects. It makes sense to repurpose that and make some really nice pieces oh, out of it. Oh, definitely, yeah. I said I'm going to make Billy something as well for his uh, his new kitchen once he has it finished. So yeah, we've got lots to be getting on with, but at least now we've got access. We can get in there and I can get working again. We've got yeah, lights nice here as well. So there's no excuse now, is there? There isn't, dear, no. I have to get out and start making. It doesn't look as bad from the inside as it does the outside, does it? <laughs> Well, it's, it's functional, isn't it? I like it. it. Yeah. It's it's shabby rustic. chic. It's rustic. It's rustic, yeah. It's repurposing lots of things that I had lying about. This actual barn originally was half again as big, but it was over to the left, closer to the house. It was up the first year we bought the uh, property, but the following year it collapsed. Um, for five or six years it was on the floor, wasn't it? Mm. It was a storm, wasn't it? Yeah, that, it was um... a storm that, that blew it over. Um, me and Jack stripped it all back. I built all the A-frame. Uh, the only thing I've really bought is some structural timbers for the roof and some new tin sheeting because I couldn't use the old stuff because it had holes in it. But the rest of it was all uh, all was lying about, so it was just all in the wrong order. You put it in the right order, and here we go. We got somewhere to sit out in the in the evening. And we got a little uh, surprise up top, haven't we? Huh? I bet you wasn't expecting to see that, was you now? <laughs> well, it's still in the design stages. I've got to put some bracings on it, and I've also got to work out a mechanism how to open it up. But for now, it's done manually with some props. I think you'll agree, it's rather different. Do you want to show them the view from up there? Why not? It's beautiful. So this is the fantastic view that we get from up here. This is why I built it. So we can sit down, we can be quiet, watch the nature go by, sit and have a few drinks and look up at the stars. I think you'll agree it was well worth the effort. Beautiful open meadow. Making sure I don't go down the trap door. Oh yeah. And this is an aerial view of part of the garden. This is the main cross beam it folds down onto. So basically what I've got to design is an easier method of opening up. I'm going to maybe go down with some pulleys underneath on a ratchet so it can be done by winding it open and winding it back. But yeah. It's the first time in a long time I've been up here. What do you think, Tom? It's the first time you've been up here. Yeah, I uh, noticed earlier on you said about having a few drinks up here. Um, <laughs> I'm not too sure about that one. Why? Well, the uh, well, we got a, situation. We've got a trap door on there, we can shut that. I think we'd be falling out of it. <laughs> no, I'm going to put across here where it's open, I'm going to put some chains. So when it's open, the chain comes out. It's like a safety rail, but yeah, we're still work in progress. Right, let's get back down. Yeah, it's a beautiful view, lovely sunny day. Yeah, how nice is that? So before I head down, back down the ladder, I'll just show you a few little things that I've upcycled, especially these windows, they're lovely. There we go. Bought these at a vid grenier. I've got to put a glass panel in here. I've been saving these for probably six, seven years, and then I finally found the ideal position. <laughs> yeah. So this is what the underside looks like. So of an evening, just lay back and look up at the stars. So if the weather stays as nice as it is at the moment tonight, we're gonna to have a bonfire, and we're gonna burn all of this wood. So it's not staying here, hopefully 
we'll be in a position tonight to have a fire we'll get rid of all that so yeah look forward to that let's get back to work get started <laughs> it's getting old like myself you don't say So if you are new to the channel, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that reminder bell. And yeah, a little bit of background history. I bought an 18th century farmhouse in the Normandy countryside. Owned it for 10 years and I've been documenting its progress over the last two years on YouTube. So yeah, don't forget to start at the beginning, watch all them videos up to date, give you a bit of a better idea of what I do. And uh, yeah, at the moment we're just clearing out the a frame barn which I constructed probably two years ago now and yes very versatile place polish me copper here we have a few drinks here as well some barbecues and also do a little bit of woodwork I'm talking of which I've recently acquired this from Billy at the convent and it's called the Peverix's channel and what I'm planning to do with this is maybe a beautiful um, no, I'm not going to give that away just yet. You'll have to uh, see that in another video. But I'm definitely going to fashion something really nice out of that. It's a beautiful wide piece of oak. Yeah, he said I could have it. So, nice bit of convent history there. I'll do something uh, really useful with that. Right. Now on with the tidying up. I've got a big stack of wood to move, so I better get cracking. So let's get all this lovely old wide planked oak into the wood storage area. Let's get this lit before it's too windy. first spring-like day of the year it's been absolutely beautiful today the Sun's been out it was a frost yesterday but today was quite pleasant this morning it's got a bit colder now though yeah it's gradually getting a little bit colder as you'd expect but all the same a beautiful day all the flowers are springing literally into action and yeah start of the gardening year really so Stay tuned, there's lots of stuff coming in the garden. Um, We've bought some plants, didn't we, the other we day? We bought some plants the other day, yeah. We had to store them in the greenhouse because um, there was a very heavy frost forecast, wasn't there, for several days. So we put them away because they couldn't be planted out, they were slightly tender. So yeah, in the next video, maybe we'll do some planting in the cottage garden. A little bit of spring cleaning. So yeah, we'll get this going. There we go. I 
just like to take a few minutes to thank everybody that follows me on this channel, supports the channel, joins me with Patreon, sends me gifts. Um, Simone sent me a beautiful little parcel full of seeds, all seeds for the greenhouse vegetables and flowers. That was much appreciated. I actually planted some the other day. Yeah, yep. Tom's been planting already, so we will revisit that. I'm going to do some planting in the greenhouse with them as well. Jana and I think it was Robin, yeah it was, they sent me a lovely little watering can and specialist coffees in there. We've worked our way through them, they've been absolutely delicious, thank you very much. And everybody that has either joined me through, buy me a coffee or just follow the channel, watch the adverts, you know, everything like that is much appreciated. It's always important to recognise that. Without you guys and girls, I would not be where I am now doing this video. So thank you very much. Coming up in the next few videos, um, we've got some building projects. I've got some major structural work in one of the barns. Um, one of the A-frame has snapped in there, so that needs... Needs addressing. Yeah, like very, very soon. I say every year, but this year I'm gonna address that. Um, we've got some garden projects. We're gonna put some raised beds in, vegetables, um, do some planting. Now the weather's um, on our side, so. Some woodwork as well. Yeah, we've got some woodwork. We've Using some, the wood yeah, from the convent. Wood from the convent, that's correct. We're gonna uh, do a few things with that as well. Uh, we're gonna be in different areas of the garden that have not been seen before. So yeah, we've got lots and lots lined up for you. Hope you like the mixed content. Me and Tom like going traveling. Don't we? Yep. <laughs> um, in our last one, we went and done some uh, buying. So I've got an Etsy shop where I buy antiques and copper. So if you haven't already viewed my shop, you can head on over to the link here. Who is it? <laughs> Somewhere here. <laughs> and I'll get Jasmine to put a link. If not, it's in the description. But um, yeah, we go antique buying and uh, we list all of our goodies in the Etsy shop. So that's worth checking out. Well, not all of them. Well. Some of them you keep, didn't you? Oh yes, yeah, some of them I keep, yeah, for a little while and uh, yeah, slowly they get filtered out to the shop but I like to, to own some of them first and uh, obviously I'll clean them up, bring them back into use. A lot of it is copper cookware uh, which would otherwise just be sort of... Sitting in someone's attic. Yeah, or scrapped, you know, which is a shame. Um, it's the best, best quality health-wise, um, you know, that you can use as well as chefs use copper. So yeah, I look forward to uh, doing a few more videos with me copper. And uh, yeah, just a, a great variety of, of vlogs, hopefully. We try to keep it not too samey. Keeps it interesting. And uh, yeah, it's, say it is Sean's world and it's part of my world and it's everything that I do. So yeah. Rural French living. Rural French living, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and what a beautiful place it is. So it's just starting to get a little bit overcast now. I don't think we're going to get any rain, but if we do, it don't matter. We've got the fire going. We can always head on inside. Yep. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one.